Hey everyone, my name is Eric, and this is the first episode of the Bluff Coast Podcast. Were you going to introduce oh, yeah, yeah, me? That's right. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Bluff Coast Podcast. My name is Eric. And I'm Lizzie. And this is a new thing for us. We're excited to dive into what our lives are about, who we are, and um, kind of just some announcements of, of what we're going to be doing, where we're going to be, and hopefully bring you guys along for the ride. Yeah. Stay tuned. This episode um, has some big announcements and some cool just inside of insight to where we're at right now and and where we want to be so yeah i hope you enjoy listening and yeah stay tuned for what's next so we are live (laughs) dink (laughs) dink so this is our first time ever doing this and i think we just want to capture kind of this moment in time that we have right now with where we're at in life, what we're planning to do, and just kind of the overall idea of what's next for us. So with that being said, I think the first thing that we have to get out is our announcement. We're not pregnant. (laughs) (laughs) True that. That is true. But we do have something to announce. What is that? That we are moving. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I <laughs> There's think so. a lot of announcements, but. Yeah, I think. Sorry, I'm just trying to get these levels right. Got to make sure we're all good. So, yeah. So, we are moving and we're moving into the van. So, we're nowhere. Moving nowhere in, in particular. particular. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this is something that we've thought about for a really long time and we haven't really had the opportunity to do it as much as we do right now. Mm -hmm. And obviously that has come about because we've made those decisions Mm -hmm. to make that happen. But I think things are just lining up in many different ways that make it possible. And just kind of this overall time frame of our life, it seems like it just makes the most sense Mm -hmm. to do right now. Um, So yeah, I think that's the first announcement which is pretty exciting Mm -hmm. well i was just gonna say it's sometimes hard looking back should i look at the camera no i don't think so (laughs) it's sometimes hard looking back at time frames and like talking about how we've we really haven't had the opportunity to do this till now is i sometimes can we kind of kick ourselves for not doing this sooner i feel like we have had the opportunity in the past but just didn't take it and now we're like why aren't we taking that opportunity? And yeah, I think with that, everything that we have done in that time frame, I'm so thankful for. And we've grown as people, we've grown in our marriage and just um, better ideas of how to have income on the road and all of that. But it's kind of sad because I feel like we've had, we have had an opportunity to do this, but no better time than the present. So we're going Mm -hmm. for it now and I'm excited about it. Yeah. I guess to say that we haven't had the opportunity in the past would be wrong because at any given moment you can kind of choose to do whatever you want. Um, but you can't dwell in certain ways. Yeah. You can't dwell in things that didn't happen, like a house that we didn't get that we feel like it would have been perfect for us or staying at a job for a little too long. Like, you learn through every situation. So we're trying to make the best of our lives right now. And yeah. Yeah. This just feels like the correct next step. Yeah. Does that make sense? What I just said? (laughs) Totally. That was perfect. Um, I, I do think that, uh, moving forward, we're super excited. Um, just because this feels like the thing that is going to bring us closest to where we want to be, um, both within like our careers, um, just overall Mm -hmm. giving us the opportunity to create in really unique and interesting ways. And hopefully almost more than ever bring us to people that we feel like we can connect with in a Mm -hmm. cool community or, um, just make connections that we've always wanted to make with like-minded people. And, we think that this will be a great opportunity to do that. Yeah. I think there's so many things that I'm excited about for this trip. I think the like 
solidarity, like just being alone in your thoughts and kind of getting to know yourself a little better. I feel like the society that we live in is just so busy that you don't even have the time to sit back and think like, how am I doing and how could I be doing better? Like, why do I feel like this? And how can I grow as a person? How can I grow in my career? So I think just this time of reflection, I'm so excited for. And then, yeah, to find a community that we feel connected with, that we could see ourselves like growing in. That's kind of a big goal of this trip, <laughs> yeah. long term, midterm trip. Absolutely. So with that being said, what are our plans? It's currently June 15th, 2023. What does the time frame look like for us? Ah. <laughs> it's kind of a up in the air thing. Um, I think that we want to hit the road early July. I'm kind of thinking that it'll be 11th um, or 12th. Yeah. But kind of all just depends on if the house is going smoothly with some renovations that we have. But for me, I don't know. We don't have like a set time frame. So I can see us being gone away from Dubuque for like six to eight months, I would say. Mm -hmm. Come back, maybe like reevaluate and then potentially move. Yeah. Move somewhere and kind of have a location. Mm -hmm. So for that six to eight months, I think we're going to be in the van, potentially a seasonal job. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. So... As of a couple of weeks ago, Lizzie quit her job and um, that was a pretty big deal, um, something that she'll miss and just something that we've been thinking about for a while. But again, it just kind of felt like no better time than now. So that was kind of the initial big push um, to make this happen. And even though we'd been talking about it for a while, it kind of came about pretty frequently or like it came about pretty Pretty suddenly yeah um it just yeah we kind of chatted on the way home from a a weekend drive and it just kind of felt right and we kind of made it happen the next day it was one of those times where it was an idea in my head that I don't always verbalize to you Hmm. so I'm like another big announcement was I um, got my personal training license yeah so start of a new career for me and I think just with that, I always had in my head, okay, if I pass this, like, it's time to move on. It's time to go to our next step. And mm-hmm. so thankfully I passed and I just thought like, why would I push off growing in this career and yeah, changing our lives than just kind of sitting where we have been kind of stagnant. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, sometimes I have ideas in my head and I expect Eric to know them, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell him. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was a huge push for Lizzie. She basically had six months to finish this thing, to do it all, to take the test. And it ended up being a lot shorter time frame than you originally mm-hmm. thought. Mm-hmm. So it kind of forced her to uh, just tackle it right off the bat and yeah. do like a chapter a week, if not more. And yep. it kind of was a blessing in disguise, although it felt rushed. It was just that push that she needed to get it done Mm -hmm. and also just kind of the knock on the door that's saying like, Hey, this opportunity is here. Are you going to take it? Yeah. Um, so that was a huge blessing that she passed that and is going to be able to dive into that soon for personal training uh, services. So get people moving since 2023 (laughs) (laughs) tagline. There it is. That's what my certificate says. Oh, seriously? Getting people moving. I was hoping it was original. No, <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of the big thing there. So basically we have roughly a month mm-hmm. um, to get on the road, or at least that's our idea. That's our plan. There's nothing set in stone that doesn't have to be the case, but that's kind of what we're feeling. Yeah. But with that being said, what project do we have going on right now that needs to happen before that? We have like 50 projects, <laughs> <Maybe> truly. <more>. <laughs> um, <laughs> we decided, and I don't know if it was a good or a bad idea. I think overall it is a good idea um, to redo our kitchen in our house. So uh, we bought a house. We bought a house. Last fall. So roughly six, seven months ago we bought yeah. a house. And 
we saw the kitchen and like, you know, when you're walking through a house, it's so hard because there's so many things to think of. There's so many things to notice. And sometimes you just don't notice how bad things are until you're in the house and you're like, wow, (laughs) this is pretty pieced together. Yeah. Story of the whole entire house. But the kitchen, we were like, yeah, we need to change this and um, kind of found some inexpensive ways to do that. But it's a huge project. So just ripping out old cabinets, putting in new plumbing, electrical. There's a lot of weird things that we don't know. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big project. And then obviously we need to get the van kind of ready for the trip, which it is. But I think there's a couple of things we need to work on, which so it's just a lot in one month. But there's always van projects to be done. It's true. It's a never ending project <laughs> on the road, <laughs> which is a good and bad thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have to get our house ready to go. That's kind of the biggest project. Mm-hmm. Um, we did purchase this house with the idea of it being a rental. Uh, we plan to finish the basement um, and live down there and then short term or midterm rent the upstairs and in that area. So we we came into it thinking that this would be kind of the plan, but our ideas have shifted again within the past couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of big decisions to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lizzie quit her job. And then we also decided that we were not going to finish the basement, which was, again, like our original set in stone plan yeah. from the beginning. And our place to live in Dubuque. Right. So we kind of always had that option of, OK, the basement's finished, so it would be like a little sweet for us but Mm -hmm. we decided nah (laughs) let's not spend the money and we're don't have a a backup which is fine (laughs) yeah so the idea is to turn our house into a midterm rental which is 30 to 90 plus day stays um this way it's hopefully paying off our mortgage and Mm -hmm. etc um while we're gone Mm -hmm. but it's also um if necessary we can kind of come back after one of those stays mm-hmm. and use it um, as his normal house if we feel like we want to do that. So, And it's going to be fully furnished, which yeah. is a really nice aspect of it because we don't have to deal with like moving mm-hmm. all of our stuff out, storing it, selling it. So all of our stuff is still there. It's going to be furnished for the um, renters. And yeah, if we come back and there's no one there, we can just, we have everything we need. Yeah. So we can go into more detail with that eventually, Um, but that's kind of the plan with the house. That's the step that we need to take or the project that we need to finish before we hit the road. Um, So with that being said, a month away, roughly, we're planning to leave um, and we'll plan to be on the road for a few months, hopefully Mm -hmm. roughly until winter um, and then kind of reevaluate once winter hits, whether we get a seasonal job or... We'll see. Yeah. We'll see where the road takes us. Yeah. It's very up in the air, but it's kind of exciting that way. It is. I know I thrive more so in unknown environments. Lizzie, maybe not so much. <laughs> kind of makes me scared, but <laughs> it is cool. It is yeah. fun. We, I think. Yeah. I feel like we just kind of have to trust that things will come about as we take the next step. Yeah. And I think our our life right now, as you can probably hear, is so rushed like just decisions that we had to make, you know, it's like, okay, well, if we want to hit the road at this time, like you got to do this now and so many like big decisions. So it's just been stressful and kind of rushed. So I'm excited that our trip, um, this time is just totally like there is no end. So Mm -hmm. it's kind of like we can take our time and I'm just really excited about that. So what led up to making this decision of hitting the road? It's kind of a long backstory, especially Mm. from my perspective. Yeah. Because this is something that I've thought about doing since high school, probably. Mm -hmm. Um, I was actually just going through some old notebooks and like I have in these just tiny little pocket notebooks that are like a few bucks from Target or whatever. um, I had like 2016 summer road trip or whatever. And it was like me driving my Subaru to Montana or like whatever. And like I calculated out my gas and how much it would cost and like how much I would spend on food. And I always wanted to do something like that. Mm -hmm. But it was always like, well, I'm either going to go alone 
because nobody Not else right. to go with or nobody has the time to come with me or I don't have the friends to come with me. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like just these dreams that I had been writing out since like, like I said, 2016 or so. And so obviously I've always been that kind of person. I feel like most people know that, but mm -hmm. it's cool to, it just feels surreal knowing that it's like all coming to fruition yeah. in, in one way or another. Yeah. Um, and I'm grateful that you're here along with me. <laughs> that you lured me in and <laughs> convinced me to do this. I'm a pretty good, uh, pretty good convincer. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I think it's just so great. Like so cool that you like talk about that. Cause when we started dating, which was in 2016, or 2015 right? even, I think. Was it 2015? I think so, which is wild. Right. I remember having a conversation with you and like, it was a pretty serious conversation as of like what you kind of thought your future would look like and mm -hmm. what your dreams were. And it kind of was just like, I want to go in the forest alone. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, how do I kind of fit in this? And so <laughs> alone, <laughs> I don't know. He I don't was know just, you know, you were like, I would just want to go. Yeah. So I've always been an adventure my whole life and I thrive like being outside. It just brings me so much joy and like, oh, I just love it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, traveling in a van wasn't always what I pictured for my life, <laughs> but the adventure I love and so I'm here for it and mm. there's no one else I'd rather do it with so I'm yeah, glad to hear that you picked a good Thumbs one up. <laughs> <laughs> I picked a good one yeah but yeah so I guess you're, you're asking I, yeah what I was going with that was like what led up to us making this decision and I guess where I was kind of going with that was in 2021 April of 2021 we did a month-long mm -hmm. road trip that was kind of like our is a test run. Yeah, test run, trial into van yep. life, if you want to call it that. And just seeing kind of how we liked it, mm -hmm. how the van did, um, just overall like a, a, a trial of, of what we want to maybe do. And although it was a very different trip than what I imagine like this will be coming yeah. up, it was still amazing to do and mm -hmm. I think was just a really clarifying time for us just because even back then in 2021 over two years ago we had been feeling a little bit um mm -hmm. misplaced in dubuque where we currently live and uh we knew that this is possibly a place that we wanted to move away from mm -hmm. um so when we came back from that trip we kind of told each other that hey let's give it two more years we feel like the biggest thing we're missing here in dubuque is community Let's see if we can build it or nurture it or whatever that might look like. And in two years, kind of reevaluate. Mm -hmm. And without even really thinking about that time frame, here we are two years later, mm -hmm. now moving away. Yeah. So it was one of those things that we kind of set a, a plan for ourselves, which I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. And now we're following through with the fact that Dubuque hasn't really become what yeah. we wanted it to be. And although we maybe didn't, of course, give the best effort we could have possibly done, it just feels like we're feeling called away from here yeah. and towards something else, wherever that may be. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess just like that overall idea of we tried it for a month. It was amazing, an amazing trip. It was pretty rushed uh, just because we were literally, I think, what was the longest that we spent in one place? Probably like two oh, days. Man. In Jackson Hole? Was it Jackson Hole or Bozeman? We were there for a couple of days. I think truly yeah, like two days was like the longest we were in a in a spot. Yeah. So it was very like get up and go, which we do enjoy that. Like we're yeah, not ones we're to just people. like chill in the desert for a week and just like yeah. soak up the sun. That's not really who we are. Mm -hmm. Um, Although we did have, well, I guess we didn't have the opportunity time wise, but like we could yeah. have done that if we wanted. Right. Um, so another we'll see thing how this with that, the, like. and kind of a reason why we didn't do that was the time of year that we went and True. like the places yeah. where we would have chilled, it was freezing. <laughs> so like we couldn't really find a camp spot and just like post up because yeah. it was 20 degrees, but yeah, don't expect a <laughs> U.S. road trip to be warm in April. In April, there is Not snow. <laughs> there are no campsites and it's cold. <laughs> Every forest road is snowed in. Gates are closed. Ooh. It was an we had adventure. good intentions. Yeah. And it was fun. 
Who I knows? I always I kind of think about our trip and I remember texting my sister like I don't think that Eric and I have been this mad at each other ever. Oh, no. <laughs> like uh, but on our I trip don't you don't I feel like there were moments of just we couldn't there was so much going on and like yeah, the van is so lot. stressful sometimes that it was just this like I'm so stressed out. Mhm. But it's also like the most fun thing because, yeah. you know, it always, there's Just something new coming at you every yeah, day. Yeah, you never know what it's going to be. I'm hoping that we won't be mad at each other. I'm just saying it's Oh, there'll it's be a moments, lot. I'm sure. <laughs> there'll definitely be moments. Yeah. When you're living in, well, like 10 square feet. Right. <laughs> well, I don't. It's what, probably like. 15? I don't even there's know. There's no actually. way it's 15. Well, Maybe. I don't even know. Anyway. When you're living in a very small space, tension is. Bound but it's to so build. much like growth too, like yeah. just trying to figure out each other and all that. It's stressful, and there can be tension. Mm-hmm. But it's also a beautiful place to be because you're with each other mm-hmm. so often. You have to make big decisions in mm-hmm. short time frames. You're seeing amazing places, and when it's really cold out, you have to sleep really close to each other. So. <laughs> You know, we get snuggly. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> In our Gotta own keep sleeping each other warm. bags because it's so cold. <laughs> Every layer Aww. on. So that was kind of what led up to it. Again, this has been something that's been on my mind for a really, really long time. Um, I'd love to go into like the full backstory of that eventually. Um, but yeah, I guess I've just I've always been feeling called to this kind of lifestyle and it, again, it just feels really surreal to actually have it all come together. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm extremely stoked for that. Um, and then let's see, what was the other thing that I was thinking about hitting? Uh, Can I say one more thing? Yeah. I think one big thing that led us to making this decision and kind of like, I don't know, taking the chance or whatever is one of our friends was just said like, why not try it? Like you mm-hmm. have you have a van, you have an opportunity to do it. Like, why not give it a shot? It's kind of one of those things. Like maybe I'm not, um, I haven't always wanted this for my life, but why not try it and Mm -hmm. see like if you absolutely love it and find who you are and who you want to be and everything like that. So that was a huge push for us to be like, yeah, why aren't we like just giving it a shot? Yeah. I just think, I mean, we're blessed in so many incredible ways, Mm -hmm. but we have a van. We're kind of building this house to be rented. Yeah. We are both able to make remote income, mm-hmm. which is still kind of up in the air to yeah. be determined. We'll do in the a, works. We'll, yeah, we'll do a little coverage on that for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but not everyone has the opportunity to yeah. do that. And I think we can't really take that for granted. Right. But also not everyone wants to do a trip like this right. either. Nobody's not everyone is is into this kind of thing. but. I love it. You like it enough to give it a try, which I'm thankful for. Yep. And it just seems like a really awesome opportunity given the fact that we have the opportunity to do it. Yeah. And I think like we've really built our life for this. Mm-hmm. So it is surreal True. to actually like take this step to do it because we've had it in the back of our minds for years. I mm-hmm. mean, since we've been married since before. So like we've wa- we found ways to make remote income and and have like a home that is also potentially giving us income and Mm -hmm. all that. So yeah, I think you just kind of, yeah, (laughs) I don't know. No, that's great. I mean, it is funny looking back like over the past few years and just like the decisions we've made that have kind of prepared us for this moment. Like in some ways, unfortunately we have like, not gotten too committed to many things just mm-hmm. knowing that like we're probably not going to be in Dubuque forever mm-hmm. and that those have been hard decisions to make mm-hmm. like we don't we haven't made like big long-term commitments or this these things because we knew that maybe we wouldn't be here in a few years and although living with that mindset is difficult because you feel like you can never get too attached to anything mm-hmm. it has been helpful now that we are moving because we have kind of stayed a little bit loose sure. with those commitments, but for sure. 
that's definitely kind of a, a two sided thing. Yeah. And it's totally where you're at in life. Like mm-hmm. just, you know, and like I felt that way with buying a house, you know, at first I was like all in like, this is our house. So I want it to be ours. I want it mm-hmm. to be perfect. And then I kind of took away from that to just be like, this could be a rental property. It's not ours. Like, I don't know. So I think it's safe doing that sometimes because you don't put all of your emotions into something that you know isn't going to, you're not going to be there for or whatever. So, but yeah, totally. I mean, I think that's partially why we haven't found, I don't know. I don't want to get into that, but yeah. (laughs) Totally. So I think that's kind of the majority of it. What are you most excited for moving forward? Like, what excites you about? Oh, the next I just got butterflies, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's. Wild. I'm just so excited for all of it. I'm so excited for us. I'm excited for me. Like, <laughs> I want to thank me for being me. <laughs> I want to thank me for being me. <laughs> no, I. You know, I put in work the past two years and work that like I didn't totally expect to do, yeah. but I have seen skills that I've never seen for me before that. I'm totally going to take into something else that I do. Mm -hmm. Um, And just for taking the leap of moving on from that, like it was a beautiful time, but I know that that's not forever for me. And like, there's something so exciting coming. And so, yeah, I'm just like, it makes me so happy thinking Mm -hmm. of this next step for us truly. Yeah. I think the thing that I'm most excited for is just diving into creating in such like cool ways that Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do because majority of the reason that I've always wanted to do something like this or like why I wanted to drive to Montana and in high school was just like I want to take super cool photos and like Ah! (laughs) I want to create these cool videos like I think I had written in there like daily vlog question mark and like just all these things that I can create content around Mm -hmm. and that's something that I strayed away from for about six months when I quit my job uh, about a year ago. And I was just kind of reevaluating like, is this what I want to do? Is this how I want to make my money? Like, what does creating look like for me? Is it my job? Is it a hobby? And I think this is going to be the perfect balance of like, I'm excited about creating again. I'm excited about picking up a camera and hopefully we'll have plenty of moments of capturing amazing things that we see or amazing places that we've Mm -hmm. been or amazing people that we meet and just kind of overall telling the story of who we are, what we're doing, where we're at and just kind of taking you guys along with us. So yeah, this is kind of the first of many like podcast episodes we're hoping, but also the plan is for a weekly YouTube video. Um, that's a little bit up in the air, but we have, I have a ton of, ton of content, um, ideas, uh, that we can be creating about what kind of got us to this point, some house renovation stuff, but then of course, just overall updates about where we're at in the van, Mm -hmm. um, what we're doing and just kind of telling that overall story. Yeah. That's amazing. I think something that you were saying, like you've always wanted to create in a specific way and like, Um, capture like beautiful scenery and like Mm -hmm. communities and people doing amazing things. I think it just made me think like sometimes your environment allows you to do what it like, you know, like it has a capacity. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So like Dubuque hasn't allowed you to like do those things. Right. So again, I am so thankful that we're blessed with this opportunity of going to these amazing places and and capturing these beautiful moments and people. But I think I've just been thinking a lot about how your community and like um just where you're at and who the the people that you're around totally affect like who you are and what you're doing. All of that, yeah. So it's just it's yeah, and it doesn't always mean that it's bad, but it it could mean it's just not allowing you to grow in the way that you want. Mm -hmm. So I think that's exactly where we were, we are at right now and we're excited to just continue growing. I think a couple of things to, to end this is what has been our motto over the past like six months to a year. 
Brink of blooming. Brink of blooming. And so that just kind of came about naturally. We just Mm -hmm. felt like we were in the season of life that we were on the brink of blooming. It wasn't happening yet. Maybe we had to put our nose to grindstone and like work hard or do things that we didn't need to or, or didn't want to do. But we felt like it was kind of this season of labor before the harvest. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, Brink of Blooming, we also have been loving the idea that if a flower is not blooming, Mm -hmm. you don't change the flower, you change the environment or the dirt that the flower is in. Right. And I think that's just such a cool thing to think about. And it feels so relative or it feels so... um, what's the word? It just feels so fitting to our lives yeah. and where we're at in life. We just feel like we haven't had the environment that we yeah. need to to thrive. Yeah. And who knows if that's right or wrong, but it's worth a shot to try it out and, yep. and see where, see where the road takes us. Yay. <laughs> well, I think that's it for episode one. Of wow, we just made a podcast. podcast. I guess that's, that's amazing. I guess that's all it takes. <laughs> um, we've tried to do this before and it hasn't really gone amazingly well, but it's harder than you think. It's way harder than you think. <laughs> yeah. Because you're like, oh, I'm going to record a podcast. And it's like, oh, we're both in a bad mood and yep. I haven't showered yet or I'm tired because it's the end of the day yep. or whatever. And so it's harder than you think. But we're excited to keep knocking it out. Yep. Hopefully you'll see us all around the US in the van in different locations yeah. talking and catching you guys up to speed about what we're doing, yep. what our thoughts are, and hopefully you guys can take something from it. Yep. Be encouraged and blessed. Woo. All right. All right. Peace out. We'll see you in the next one. We don't have a name yet. I know. I was just going to say our other this. name, but I can't. I don't know if it's going to be called that. Bluff Coast? Yeah. Stay coasted. Stay (laughs) coasted. We'll see you in the next one. Stay coasted. Peace. Hey, everyone. Welcome. My voice is being so weird right now. Just cough really hard. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. What is happening? Yeah. The only problem is I Oh hope- shiz, Eric. It's 9:30. I work right now.